Ladies and gentlemen, as the father of the bride, I've been given lots and lots of advice on what to or what not to say, such as keep it short, no smarty jobs, and try and remember names, etc. I would like to start by, on behalf of the bride's mother, myself, and groom's parents, giving a warm welcome to all relatives and friends who have joined us to celebrate and Armando's wedding. I know that many of you have traveled long distance. Thank you for all coming to help celebrate this very special day. As I look around the room, I realize how many friends Armando and I have, and I hope that you all have a wonderful afternoon and evening. Today I must admit that I am the proudest dad in the world to have accompanied Alice. I think you all agree that she looked stunning. Yeah. Alice, you have made us very proud. I remember when you uh, were 12 years of age, you could travel from Malawi to South Africa all alone as an accompanied minor. And just to remind you that you made me and your mom proud when you were the first girl in Malawi to be a news presenter on our local Malawi television. And it was at this point that I, re I realized my daughter had expensive taste. <laughs> Today I look at my daughter and I see an independent, attractive, elegant, stunning young woman. She obviously takes after her mother. <laughs> Every father hopes his daughter will find a reliable, sensible, and considered par partner. And as much as you try not to interfere in their lives, you always hope your children will make the right choices. Aris chose Armando. I have found that Armando is reliable, sensible, and considerate, and I think Aris has made an excellent choice, and I welcome Armando to the Nyongo Club. To help you with your marriage, I thought I would give you some advice based on 30 years of my married life. Marriage will teach you many things. Loyalty, self-restraint, obedience, <laughs> and I'm still in daily training on these matters. <laughs> There's no challenge in marriage that can't be overcome by one or more of the following. I was wrong. You were right. <laughs> yes, dear. And I love you. Aww. I would just like to be with this thought. Never go to bed in the middle of an argument. Be a man, stay up and fight and watch some sport. You have lost anyway, so you might as well get it over with. The actor Richard Barton once said that a woman that a woman accepts a man for what he is, and then spends the rest of her life trying to change him. Alice, I love you, and I'm very proud to have you as my daughter. And I now request you to a father-daughter dance. And we have the father come out and join Alice on the dance floor. Yeah. Folks, have a big round of applause for our bride and her father.
again, big round of applause for our bride and her father. We have one last special dance we need to accommodate Armando if you'd escort your mom to the dance floor.